So when I was a kid, I used to spend hours playing Tetris. I would zone out everything else and hit this state of hyper-focus. I was fully engaged. Which has me wondering, what could schools learn from video game design? Well, here are a few ideas. Number one, intrinsic motivation. Video games are engaging because they are fun, but so is learning. Learning is fun when students get a chance to chase their curiosity or geek out on their favorite topics. Learning is fun when they get to solve challenging problems, make sense out of the past, and conduct their own experiments. It also happens when they get lost in a fictional world. Number two, incremental success. The best video games have these small victories that people go through, and this allows users to make mistakes and move through smaller iterations. Even in creative games like Minecraft, there is a space for iterative improvements. Number three, finding the balance of challenge and skill. Video games have levels that are slightly harder than your skill level. One of the key ideas in flow theory is that people are more likely to hit this state of flow when there is a high challenge and a high perceived skill level. If a task is too easy, people get bored. If a task is too difficult, people get anxious. But if they match, again, they are able to hit a state of flow. Number four, embrace conflict. Every great game begins with a challenge or a problem or a conflict. Similarly, the best classroom lessons and classroom projects draw students in with a challenge or problem that they find relevant. Number five, make it intuitive. With video games, people can easily figure out where to begin, where you're going, and when you will be finished. As educators, we can craft our assignments to be more intuitive by incorporating these key ideas from UX design. Number six, incorporate instant feedback. The best video games provide instant feedback. Players can make adjustments without having to stop their progress. And the same is true of great lessons. Students are able to make sense out of their feedback. I'm not suggesting that we switch completely to game-based learning, though I was pretty good at the Oregon Trail when I was a kid. I mean, when I wasn't dying of dysentery. I also understand that student engagement is often about creativity and choice, while certain video games tend to focus on entertainment and program choices. But still, there are these elements of game design that I think we might want to consider as we focus on instructional design. 